I want you to think about this for a second. If you go outside right now and you turn your back to the sun, in front of you there will be cast a shadow of darkness, right? It does not matter how fast you run, it does not matter how far you go, you will always be walking in the darkness of that shadow until you change your direction and turn around, until you change your direction and start moving toward the light. In the same way, the diagnosis of this country is this, not that God has turned his back on us, but that we as a people have turned our back on God. In scripture, God says this, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. There has to be a turn. There has to be a change of direction. But who has to turn? Does America have to turn? No. Scripture says this, if my people. America is simply a term that describes the people that are inside of it. That means if America is going to see revival, change, unity, all of these things, you have to turn. I have to turn. We the people have to turn. Just spell unity. Just open up any dictionary and look for the word unity and you will see that unity starts with you. Take a look at what David said. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me. David did not look for an evaluation on the world around him. He looked for an evaluation on himself because he knew that if he could get that, he would be in a better position to evaluate the world around him. Look at what Michael Jackson said. I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. No message could have been any clearer. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself and then make a change. I don't care if you're the politician, pastor, lawyer, teacher, doctor, student. Student, you have to look at yourself and make the change necessary. It's not enough just to be a Christian. In John 8, 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. He does not say whoever is a Christian will never walk in darkness, but whoever is following me. If we're going to revive this country and change this country and see all of this, this change, this unity that we want to see, unity starts with you.